Hello fifth graders, it's Mrs. Lamorne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 5, Lesson 11, Make Sense of Decimal Addition. Today we're going, our goal is to add decimals. Here's our warm-up. How many do you see and how do you see them? All right, when I look at this first picture, I see two squares, and it looks like each square, if they were all filled in with blue, would be one. Right? I'm going to count how many rows are highlighted or colored in each one, and that's going to be a tenth. Remember that this is a tenth, this is a tenth, and this is a tenth. So that is 30 squares that are all together, right? So I could write 30 hundredths, or I could just write 3 tenths. In this square, I notice that there are one two. So I could either write that as 20 little squares, 20 hundredths, or two tenths. So that's how I see both of these squares. If I added them together, I could do that in one of two ways. Let me get rid of this right here and write that a little lower because what I'm going to talk about, so we said that that was either 30 hundredths or three tenths. Those are the same thing. But if I took these two and I move them to here and color those in, how much would I have all together? Well, I would have one, two, three, four, five, or 50, right? 0 0.5 tenths if each row is a tenth, or I could write that as 50 hundredths because there's 50 little squares that are going to be colored in. Okay, let's see what the next one is. That's how I see that one. Here's another one. I have one hole that is almost filled in, right? So if I took one of these rows, one of these tenths, and I moved it down to here and colored that in, this would be one hole altogether. So I see this as one hole and one tenth. Does that make sense? One hole and one tenth. Before I moved it, this was two tenths or 20 hundredths and this was nine tenths. So if I take nine tenths and I add two tenths to it, nine, ten, eleven, I can carry that one and then one plus zero is a zero and then I just bring down my decimal point. So I could just move things around or I could line them up in place values. I could have done the same thing over here, right? This was three tenths and this was two tenths. And when I line them up, I'm going to get zero ones because there's no holes there and a total of five tenths. So I could do that either way, right? Here's another one. Ooh, this one's almost full too, right? So let's go ahead and write what there is there first and then we'll move some things around. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. So that's nine, whoops, get my pencil back, nine tenths, and then one, two, three, four, five little squares. And those little squares were hundredths, right? Because there's a hundred little squares. So this is in the hundredths place value. And then over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have zero tenths, zero holes, and seven hundredths, or seven of the hundred squares. So I could just take five of these and move them down here, couldn't I? So it's one, two, three, four, five. And I move them down here and that makes this one now a whole, right? And then I would have two hundredths left over here. So if I add that together, I would have this much for both of them. I could also write that over here as a math problem. Five and seven is 12. Carry the one. Nine plus one is 10. I'm going to bring down that decimal place. And one plus zero plus zero is one. And I get the same exact answer. Let's see if they have another one for us. Yes, one last one. Okay. Over here, it looks like we have two whole bars or two tenths, two tens, right? And over here I have 
just nine ten. Nine, not nine tens, do I? I don't have nine tens. I have what? Nine hundredths. Nine little squares. So if I take those nine and I move them over here, how many do I have all together? How many squares do I have filled in? Well, I have 20 plus the 9 tenths, right? So 0 0.2, and I can make that a 20, 20 little hundredths, plus 9 hundredths. Is that going to be 29 altogether if I count them? 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 29 little squares or 29 hundredths. So I'm seeing a pattern here. If I line up the decimal places in my decimals, I can add them together very, very easily. Nice job. All right, let's see what our next activity is. Can you find the value of the expression? Show your thinking. Organize it so it can be followed by others. What questions do you have about adding decimals? So here I can do two things. I can draw pictures and add them up together, or I can line up the decimal places. Let's do both ways so that we know how to do it both ways. So of course, girls and boys, you know that my drawing is not great online, but here's one hole. We're going to fill that in. One hole. That's I'm, I'm drawing this one, right? So two holes. So let's go ahead and label that. One, two, and then <clears throat> go back to pink. So now I have to do 26 hundredths, 26 hundredths. So in this one, I'm going to do, there's 10, 20, and then I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's 6, 26 hundredths. And we're going to say that this is 0 0.26. So that's 1. That's this number. Now I'm going to draw this number. So one hole. And this time I'm going to do 87 hundredths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to have to do about seven. So we're going to say this is seven. And I would color that in. All right. So how many holes do I have all together? I have three holes all together. And then I have, let's write this down. This was 0.87 and 26. So to draw that, I would have to use grid paper. And I don't have any up here. So let's go ahead and use our method that we used in the warm-up and add them up this way. So I'm making sure that the tens are over the tens and the hundreds are over the hundreds. And now I'm going to add. 7 plus 6 is 13, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and I'm going to bring down that decimal place. All right, so I have one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, and 13 hundredths left over. Another way we could have done that is we could have just added them by lining up the digits, right? Making sure that the ones are over the ones, the tenths are uh, above the tenths, and the, seven, the hundredths are with the hundredths, right? And so again, I'm going to add my hundredths, carry one tenth over, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make sure my decimal point is there. Two plus one plus one is four. So there are two different methods here that we could use to add these together. Okay, and notice we added ones to ones, tenths to tenths, and hundredths to hundredths. And if we needed to carry over, we did. All right, let's see what's next for us. Oops, there we go. Nope. There we go. What is the same and what is different about the strategies? Well, we're adding the same digits each time, aren't we? Some of the diagrams show the numbers and you add them, and some of them use equations. They both have to think about making new holes out of the decimal. How does the diagram show this equation? 
Well, 8 tenths plus 2 tenths. If we take these 2 tenths here and we bring them down here, right? We have 8 tenths here and bring 2 tenths down. That will give us that hole. 8 tenths plus 2 tenths is going to give us a whole, another hole, right? So that we have 4 holes. Oops, I'm going to have to get rid of our equations now. How does the diagram show this equation? Again, if we take six hundredths and seven hundredths, we're going to get another tenth and three hundredths left over. All right, so here's where we're going to play a game. You're each going to get this uh, worksheet and a dice or a number cube. We're going to start at zero and we're going to roll the number cube and we're going to choose whether to add the number of tenths or hundredths to get your starting number. You're going to write an equation to represent the sum. You're going to take turns until you've played six rounds and each round the sum from the previous equation becomes the starting number in the new equation. The partner to get a sum closest to one without going over, so we don't want to go over one, wins. Describe a move that you could do, have made differently to change the outcome of the game. All right, so we're going to play one round together, and then you're, you will play this game with your um, teacher in your classroom. All right, remember we're starting with zero. Here's my dice. And when I rolled, or I can roll again, I got four. All right. So the number rolled was four. Um, so I'm going to choose to make that a tenth. So I'm going to make it four tenths. So my first equation is going to be start with zero, zero plus four tenths. And that's going to equal four tenths. Okay. Now I'm going to get to roll again. Got a five this time. I got a five this time. What should I do? So let's think about that. Let me get rid of this down there. There we go. Let's think about that. Where should, should I make that five hundredths or five tenths? So the first thing I'm going to do is write five here. And I think I'm going to make it five tenths. Hmm. I don't want to go over one. And five tenths plus four tenths is nine tenths. And that's really close to one. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Five tenths. So now I'm going to take my four tenths and add it to my five tenths. And that's going to give me nine tenths. So that's my strategy there. Let's go ahead and roll again. Three this time. So I'm going to write three as what I ordered. If I do another three tenths, that will be over one, right? Because nine plus three tenths would be 12 tenths. So I'm going to make that a hundredth. So now I have nine tenths plus three hundredths. Three hundredths. And it might be easier, let's write it a different way. It might be easier to write it this way. 0 0.9. 0 0.03. So how much, boys and girls, do you think I have all together? I can add a zero here so that I add hundredths to hundredths. So that's going to be three and tenths to tenths. So that's going to be nine. So zero and ninety-three hundredths. Ooh, I'm getting really close to one, aren't I? Okay, so I'm going to go back to my dice. I've got a three again. Three again. So I'm going to record what I rolled, and I am going to definitely choose to put that in the hundreds column because I don't want to go over one. So now I'm going to again stack it up or line up those decimal points. Remember, my first, last number was 93 hundredths, and now I'm going to add another three hundredths. I bet you can do that in your head, right? Three plus three is six, nine plus zero is nine and I have zero. So my answer now is 96 hundredths, getting so close. Man, I could lose this game so easily if my next dice is going to be a high number. Let's, don't be high. Oh, five. Let's see. 
So I rolled a five. I'm going to add that to my hundredths column. So now I'm adding 96 hundredths plus five hundredths. Five plus six is 11. One plus, oh no, I went over. So now I've lost the game, haven't I? So maybe I should have made this fit five tenths, a hundredths, right? Five hundredths instead. And then I would have not gone over. So I went over one. So now I am the loser. All right. So now you know how to play the game. You'll each get a number cube and play on your own. Let's see what is next for us. What could you have done differently to change the outcome of the game? Look back at the questions you wrote from the last activity about adding decimals. Discuss with your partner whether you're able to answer any of your questions. Okay, again, what I could have done differently is not gone with that five hundredths, right? And then I would have still been in the game. I may not have gotten too close to um, one, but I would have still been in the game. How is adding decimals the same as adding whole numbers? Good question. How is adding decimals the same as whole numbers? So you have to pay attention to place value. And sometimes you have to compose a new unit. So we always might have to carry over something, right, if it's over the, the place value. How is it different? You have to add the tenths and the hundredths, and there's a decimal point, okay? What do you still wonder about adding decimals? I wonder if I can add thousands. What if there's a zero in the ones place? Can we use the algorithm like we do for whole numbers? Okay, well, let's try this one. Again, I could draw a picture, or I could add ones to ones, tenths to tenths, or I can use the algorithm that I know will work, uh, one in 20 hundredths plus 13 hundredths. Line up those decimal points. Zero plus three is three. Two plus one is three. I keep my decimal point where it is, always lined up, and one plus zero is one. Super important that I keep those decimal places where they go, right? Place value is really important. All right, boys and girls, that's it for Lesson 11. I will see you next time with Lesson 12. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my class.